Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome to this new video and in this video um, what I'm doing is uh, going to continue uh, inking a race, uh, the race of God. Um, and so yeah, in the previous video a, I started doing the, the arm here, then I did the leg, um, now I'm going to jump to the face, which I, I think will be an interesting, uh, interesting place to start. Um, so I'm going to start with the hat and, uh, and yeah. So as you can see here, for example, I have already drawn uh, the hat all the way around, um, but I'm not going to I'm going to play a little bit here with um, the lights and darks. Um, I'm going to put a moon here. Um, so I just <laughs> I just did the little thing real quick just to give me an indication of where it's going to be. Um, so that I guess would be the light that's going to hit there. And so I'm going to. Um, you know, use that as a reference, which is why I marked uh, these areas here as uh, as the areas that are going to get the light. Now, normally, uh, when you're working with uh, figures like this that are in all black, it's a good idea to um, well, kind of end up having to. Um, use the the white areas to indicate the shadow um, to indicate the shadow uh, of the of the object and so they can't, I mean you, you can't just do it all black you know because if you do it all black um, this hat is going to get lost into this background and now which is tricky with this character because this character is like like a, I guess like a physical embodiment of black and darkness and like that no so so sometimes like the clothing gets lost into the the thing and, and no, into the, the the thing in the background so I mean uh, there's a little playroom I guess with that um, I could hide the hat or whatever but I'll see what looks good so I'm gonna I'm gonna start off by doing it like this and I'm going to have a very fine, a very fine uh, white line like that. Then I'm going to color it in black and see what it looks like. And then um, I may leave it as it is, or I may, uh, I may um, like lose some parts of it to the black. I don't know if that makes any sense. Well, you'll see it, I guess, as I, as I execute it. But, um, but yeah. yeah. Like you don't need to see all that. Like you know, for example, with what I'm leaving here, you know that this thing's gonna go all the way across. So if I color this in in all black, it's not going to affect the illusion of it too much because you've already you've already gotten the indication that it's there by this thing here. And so, so I, I'm able to play like that with with this. Let me just color all that in black. Um, Sorry for not talking, I just want to make sure this is right. And so, yeah, that little indication I think would be alright. I think it would be alright. I may end up just putting black over that. Right. 
Yeah, so what I was trying to get at is that you don't need to see like the whole hat drawn to know that it's there. You know, so you can just get like these little um, white areas of it. These little white areas here. And just enough of these white areas around the, the character will let you know, around this figure will let you know that that figure is there and then and you, you'll have some kind of indication of what the figure looks like. You know, so, um, so yeah, so that's all I'm, I'm going to do. I may go back and just and just cover all this area in black. I may, I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm at the six minute mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and decide to uh, go for the face also. I'm gonna get that man in his face. Uh, this, for example, I'm taking cues on how to uh, render this uh, straight from uh, the source. Um, took a look at uh, how um, how Mr. Lepresti uh, renders uh, how he renders uh, the character. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, take. Uh, I'm going to uh, do it as he does it in his uh, in his comic. And so, yeah, the beauty of all this is that whatever whatever thing I screw up, I can just go back to digital and touch it up. So far, everything is going as planned, so I don't see any need to to um I don't see any need to. Uh, and hit the digital. I don't know if it's me or if it's um, the paper or the amount of ink that I used, but this is starting to curl up. I think it's because of the ink that I use. I think the amount of ink that I use. Who knows? See, when I see things like that, that kind of like um gets me confused. Like, I'm like, where am I supposed to ink at? Then I'll ink over an area that's not supposed to be inked and then just completely destroy the drawing. Be really careful, gotta focus to make sure I know that I'm inking where I'm supposed to be inking. Now you see, you don't need to see, like for example, I can, this black, this this area here of the brim that I just went over with black, I can do that because I, because I left this indicator here and here so that you know that, you know, you know what the figure looks like without it actually being completely there drawn. And so that's part of what I was getting at earlier. So yeah, I did his face uh, in under 10 minutes, or at least the black areas in under 10 minutes. So uh, I, I was just going to leave this video here. Uh, I'm gonna get back to inking the rest of this, and, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm uh, getting there slowly but surely. And, uh, and yeah, I, ho I hope you like uh, the video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you uh, like this kind of content of me drawing and just showing off my art and um, and talking about comics and stuff, then yeah, please uh, also subscribe to the channel. I try my best to post videos as often as possible. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so please uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, 
Uh, please also leave comments in the comment section. Just tell me, hey, you did a good job, or hey, your art sucks. Just whatever you want to put down, put down there will be great. And uh, and that's it, man. And, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. And, uh, and yeah, take care. And before you go, don't forget that I'm working on my own comic. It's called Ominous, and it starts with a 10-page preview with story and artwork by yours truly, featuring this sweet cover colored by the awesome Matt Yaki. So be sure to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything.